my name's Hugh Locke and I'm an artist. I was born in Edinburgh, but at the age of five, I left and went to live in Guyana. And that's where my accent comes from. That's where a lot of my, my formative years were in Guyana. And that shaped a lot of my thinking and my approach to my art. So I arrived in Guyana just in time for the country to become independent. And I remember staying up late at night to see the flag, be, the new flag being raised, to hear the national, new national anthem for the first time. I remember seeing designs for the new banknotes. And because of that, I've had a long time interest in the core concept and idea of nationhood. What nations create as symbols? What, what, what nations create as their identity? I was invited to make a proposal for the Duveen Commission. And I thought, what could I do that's not been done before? And I came up with the idea of a procession, a procession of life-size figures moving through the hall. In, in, in Baltic, this piece has now become a crowd. It's a whole seething mass of people moving forward. What I often say with this piece of work is that it started in a pandemic at the height of COVID and it finished in a war in Ukraine. That was, that, these bookended the piece. And the piece was made during lockdown, which was not easy, not easy at all. And that may be well be reflected subconsciously in what the work, how the work is. It's quite an emotional piece of work for me uh, and quite an emotive thing. It was, we were living in highly charged times and to a certain extent I suppose we still are, only the times are different. We're now in a cost of living crisis. This piece is talking about a lot of difficult subject matters but as I often say, I can't live in misery myself, you know, at all. It's just too much, you know. So the piece for me is uplifting as well, very uplifting for, for, from a visual point of view purely, if nothing else. Um, it's intended to be a hopeful piece. At the same time, we're going forward in history carrying our baggage from the past with us, but we're going forward with a hope, you know. The key for this project was when I figured out that I could print my own fabric. That plus an obsession with, with, with patchwork. And so what the piece is, as well as anything else, is, is a semi-retrospective. So the imagery of my previous um, practice dotted throughout the whole thing. But dominant are imagery from sheer certificates. Photographs of Guyana, yes, but imagery of sheer certificates. I read the world sometimes through historical documents, and in this case, historical financial documents. There are countries in Africa which their minerals are exploited in the 19th century, and you see share certificates of that, and it's the same thing today, same places. There are, there are places which are cursed by their natural wealth. Dotted around this work are enlarged imagery of medals which I've been collecting over the years. And one of the medals is from a West African campaign, campaign being the phrase for colonial war. And it was of a medal which was given to soldiers who went into Benin. And it's of the Benin soldiers fighting the British in the jungle, in the bush. Another medal, another image I, I've used a lot, is from the Second Afghan War. And that's an image of, a, of, of troops marching alongside an elephant with elephants loaded down with cannon. And that's the Second Afghan War, which is something I've been completely fascinated about. And it's late Victorian times, and it's about the fact of history repeating itself. You know, I use that as a metaphor for us, our, our in, involvement in Afghanistan. Here we are again. This piece is obviously talking about migration, about diasporas. Obviously, in my, my sense, an Afro-Caribbean diaspora, and is now being shown here at Baltic during the year of the Windrush anniversary. And there's one 
image which had to be there, a blue patchwork image of the Empire Windrush. And the piece would not have been complete without that because this is how I and many people understand migration in a sense. It's a seminal moment and this year is the 75th anniversary and that's important, really important.